Hi, this is Ed Gregory for PhotosInColor.com and today I'm going to show you how you can do selective color editing in Lightroom. Okay, so selective color editing is basically when you want to edit just one color in an image. So today we're going to use the color red, but you can actually use any color whatsoever. So let's jump straight into Lightroom. So we have this image of Rosie just here that we photographed in London next to a red phone booth. So let's say we wanted the image to be black and white, but the phone booth to say stay red. So one way of doing this would be to hit black and white, then go into the brush module just here, um, make sure that the color is set to red down here, and then basically we could paint in the phone booth, but this is going to be extremely hard, time consuming, and you're not gonna do a very good job. But fortunately, there is a far better way of doing it. All we have to do is we leave it in color, and then we're gonna scroll down here, and just underneath tone curve, we have HSL, hue, saturation, and luminance, okay? So we hit this and make sure saturation is selected. So we select saturation, and what we're going to do is deselect, desaturate absolutely everything, turning this into a black and white image. Looks great. Now, all we have to do is go to the red channel, which is here, and just put that saturation back up to zero, and automatically, just the red has come out, which is a fantastic job. And you can see the phone booth is here. However, we do have an issue because her lips are still red. We will alter that in a moment, but let me show you one quick trick here. So for example, that's the red, so let's take that back to zero. Now here we have this button here, okay? Now if we click on this, okay, now we can click anywhere on the image, and if we drag up, it makes it more saturated, and if we drag down, it makes it less saturated. So, for example, if we bring all of our saturations back to zero, and now let's just desaturate the reds. We use this tool, we put it on the red here, and we drag down, we're going to see just the reds are going to disappear or over here on the yellows okay and then we can bring the reds back up drag up to add saturation down to reduce saturation so let me show you on one more image what i mean here we have blue using the same feature over here we click in the blue sky drag up it goes more blue drag down it goes less blue nice and simple we reset that just here and now if we look at the greens, now for this, what you see is it doesn't just do a single channel, it does whatever you're selected on. So if we select down here in the greens, now it's actually part green and part yellow. And watch how the green and yellow sliders both slide, okay? So as you can see, we can get rid of the yellow just there, the yellow and the green, and everything else looks fantastic in the image. We can get rid of the blues, which is great, just leaving the reds and the magentas that are still going. So that's really simple. Now back to this image. So let's come back here, we'll reset all of this. Uh, in fact, we'll set all these to zero because we know that we don't want anything else. We want it all black and white apart from the red phone booth. So if we slide this up, okay, we can see it's mainly in the reds. So let's just make the reds 100% and let's slide this one back down to zero looks fantastic. We could even bring Rose's skin tone back by using the orange because that's where the skin tones live. And now she's included. But let's say we want to just have the phone booth. Great. But we have a problem because her skin her, has some of the red tone in it. So this is where we can use the brush tool and we make sure the color is selected to nothing and saturation, we make this to zero. All we have to do now is paste over the top of the areas which we don't want to have, make sure auto mask is turned off. Make sure that we don't actually want that to show up. Now I did a really quick job there. You could probably do better. Now you might also, for example, this, I don't want the other phone booth to be present. So all I have to do is I can now desaturate the entire thing and that is now completely gone. So incredibly fast.
And that's it. And that's how to use selective color editing in Adobe Lightroom. If you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe because I've got so many more videos with tips and tricks and awesome things on, its, uh, on their way from Lightroom to Photoshop and all that jazz. So this was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. Thank you.